राधिकाया राधिका विस्तालय कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय सदस्ताय नमो नम मध्ये वितनुते भक्ति मूकमावर्त श्रुति यहाँ वंदे श्री प्राण गोपाल प्रभु जैनी तय हरि बोल दिस इयर वी हैव टू सेशन मॉर्निंग एंड इवनिंग इन दिस फाइव डेज इन द मॉर्निंग सेशन we'll hear about guru tatva jaise guru ne punta to guru tatva and that guru tatva explanation based on gurudev astak aap gurudev astak ka main main option vise prema bhakti chandrika prema bhakti chandrika and guru vandana bhai vaishnava das aap guru vandana aur vaishnava das who is guru Guru. Why we have to take shelter to Guru? What is the importance of Sri Guru Dev in our life? Actually, what he is doing? What is uh, his activity in our life? So we will hear. and we'll take shelter to the lotus feet of all our six goswami sacharyas uh okay like a and scripture goswami acharya to get some light about sri guru dev because we cannot explain actually not even four headed brahma he cannot just complete the explanation of guru tatva by his forehead Who is Guru? According to scripture, it said, "Who is destroying all the darkness of ignorance from our heart and deliver pure bhakti, pure love?" in our life he is guru in another way he is the connector between bhakta and bhagwan in our material life also it's very important we have master guide without guide without master we cannot just uh, get pure knowledge yes we can read books we can see all the instruments but only by the reading books we cannot just get that knowledge one must explain the truth of that knowledge and he must be master a very perfect about those knowledge if we want to get perfection about anything just uh, think about uh, Uh, in school degree college degree machinery instruments any kind of arts without guru we cannot get that we cannot get that perfection yes we can do little bit better but we cannot achieve the most highest point for that we need some support a experienced person in our life 
who will describe everything for us. So same in our spiritual life also. Need. If we are following the path of bhakti, so that means our highest stage to attain prema. Then our service will start. Without prema we cannot serve. Without prema we cannot do anything in bhakti path. So, Rupa Goswami path. At the beginning of how one can attain, achieve prema in their life, he said, Adu Sraddhya Tato Shatu Shadhu Shanga Tato Bhajanokriya Atato Anartha Nibriti Tato Nishtaruti Tato. So, there is certain stage he described. First, Sraddha, that means respect. If we want to get some knowledge or achieve some things, first we need some attraction for that. If there is no attraction, then that desire to attain that, to achieve that, it will not develop in our heart. So that's why first we have to develop that respect or attachment sraddha. But from whom we will get that? If we never taste anything, we will we'll never get attraction for that. Is not? If we have experience, sweet, chocolate, the, bo the boys, girls, they love chocolate. Why? Why they love? They got this, that attraction from their mother's womb? No. They must have their first taste. So, they must have their first taste. Or somebody gave that. Somebody gave that chocolate to that boy or girl. And he or she taste and then got attraction. That attraction is not without any experience. So, from someone will get that attraction that he will give us and will taste and will get that attraction. So that attraction is Sraddha, respect, to develop desire, greed in our heart to achieve that. So from whom will get that attraction? Who will give us that taste first time, first experience? He is our first Shiksha Guru. He is our first Shiksha Guru. According to scripture, it says Bhartmat Desh Guru. That means, Bhartmat Desh means, Bhartma means the track, path. He showed the path first time to us. If you want to get happiness, so follow this track. And you will describe some things. And then we'll get a small, very small quantity, like one drop of honey. 
will get that taste. So then, it's our nature. Nal pe shukham asti bhumai va shukham. Our nature, we cannot satisfy only by get some little bit things. If it's very good, then oh, we want more. Isn't it? Just think about the food. If the food is very tasty, oh, I want more. So it's our nature. I just give us this example only by the food. It's happening with everything. If we are satisfied by some things, then we want more. So then the greed will develop, increase. Then I'll ask to him. So from where I'll get more? I want more. Okay, then associate with the devotees. Then Shadu Shanga. By the association with all same loving person, then greed more increased. Then my mind will want, I want to go deeper. I must see the final destination. I have to achieve that. Then Guru will come to me. When my mind will be greedy, when my mind will want more, and that greed will be very strong, then Guru will come to me and he will start to guide. So how he will guide to us? For our spiritual path. First, he will deliver the consciousness. By sending, by delivering that consciousness, pure love to our heart, first you will remove all the darkness of ignorance. Actually, at the beginning, all the darkness will not remove. Because uh, of our attachment with this material stuff, material world, material connection. So, some darkness will be there still. It will it will go by our practice. But first light, Guru will lead in your heart. And by that light, we can see ourselves, our identity. We can realize why we are here. It depends also uh, sadhakas. It depends on sadhakas. Because if I just uh, go to Guru, Guru came to me, I took shelter to Sri Gurudev, but I am not following any instruction of Sri Gurudev. Then darkness will not remove from our heart. When that greed to taste that pure love will appear, first we have to feel that we are not real happy in this life. Because all the happiness here 
Covered. Yes. Hmm? At the beginning, it will be little bit happy. It then all so the remaining parts of happiness is actually distress. We have no money. So that is attention. When we'll get so much money, then at the beginning we'll get so much happiness. Then tension will start. Then tension will start. Uh, I will protect this money. How I can use this money? I should not lost all those money because all my life I want to spend with very luxurious life. So I have to keep all those money. So that is a big tension. Yeah. So the material happiness at the beginning it's real happiness, but after some time that problem will start in our life. So many anxiety, so many tensions, so many doubts, and we lost our happiness, peace actually. We want peace. We want uh, happiness and peace. Which happiness brings us peace, we want such kinds of happiness. Not just temporary for some moments, for some hours. We want that happiness which is permanent and which happiness will bring us that peace. So first we have to realize that with this all material stuff we are not actually beneficial. Otherwise we will not get that desire to follow the instruction of our guide master Sri Gurudev. So, who will feel that, yes, I want happiness, but which happiness now I have, it is not real. So, then I will start to follow the instruction of Sri Gurudev. So, when I will start to follow the instruction, then first light will come in our heart which is which was completely dark before and slowly that light will remove all the darkness of ignorance because our practice will take us to the wisdom from the ignorance. So ignorance will go and wisdom will appear. Proper realization will appear in our heart. So how Sri Gurudev will do that? Only by instruction? Only by instruction? No. Same time, she will follow the instruction of his Gurudev. That means she will engage in his own practice. And at the same time, she will add all his disciples with his own practice. And he will just share his experience. And he will engage his disciples to there. So how the blessings, mercy of Sri Gurudev is work in our life. Vishwanath Chakravatvad he describes in Gurudevashtha. Shankshara Dava Nalalita Dupa 
ത്രാണായ കാരുണ്യ ഘനാഘനത്യം പ്രാപ്യശ കല്യാണ ഗുണാർനവശ്യ ബന്ദേ ഗുരശ്രീ ചർണാർവിന്ദം we are burning we are burning in a big fire and that fire it's very big we can see the bush fire forest fire and that fire is really very dangerous you cannot stop like other fire just throw the water and it will stop no it is not happening in that way when the forest fire will start after it will finish all the forest it will burn all the forest then it will stop after that there will be only the ashes no trees no plant so we are always burning in that way yes sometimes also we need fire you know because i don't know what here is doing in india when in the field will full of mm, just what do you say some other plants which is not important which we not need so the farmers they are just burning all the they will put the fire and everything will burn and that ashes will work as the food of the ground of the land and after some time they will use the new seed and that seed will develop very good way so to burn also useless plants we need some sometimes fire Takže občas potřebujeme oheň, aby jsme spálili ty nedůležité věci. A Guru také používá tento oheň. He is burning all useless plants. No hurt. Mají a pánky nepotřebné, but always we are burning. We have problem, we have anxiety, we have tension. So one will go, another will come. Jedna odejde další příklad. We are trying to make us free from all those anxiety. But it's tied with everyone. One will go and it will bring another one. The second will go, the third will come. But actually you were not. You should not suffer. because our identity is very pure with the part of bhagwan anuchi sanatan goswami pad he asked to mahaprabhu kya ami eno more jare ta putra hoy che nahi jani ami kemone hi koy in sanatan shiksha in chaitanya charitamrita sanatan goswami he asked to sri krishna chaitanya prabhu hey prabhu what is my real identity who i am now i am thinking before i was the minister of king i was very rich now you gave me the name sanatan but actually who i am What is my real identity? I am not that minister. I am not even Sanatana. But I don't know that real identity. So why Sanatana Goswami Pad, he asks such question to Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu? He said, did he know that? Yes. He know that. but to teach us to give us that realization that you are not that person you are thinking about yourself 
You must know about your own identity, real identity. So that's why Sanatana Goswami Pad he asked a Prabhu from scripture. From scripture we got that knowledge that we're the part of Bhagavan. We are Anuchit. So if we are really the part of Bhagavan, then why we are suffering? By this three fire, three tapa. And that three fire is very great. We cannot stop by ourselves. So how we can do our betterment? For our life. So please explain. So that Tritap is like forest fire. No one can stop that. We cannot by ourselves. But there is only one person is there. Actually, not his person, he's the true Tatwa. And that tattva is Sri Gurudev. Because to stop that forest fire, we need such kinds of such amount of water like sea or ocean. Gurudev is that ocean. You can stop that fire by natural water. To stop that fire of samsara, three tapa, we need very special water which Sri Gurudev has. Because he is Gunar Navasya. Gunar Navasya means ocean of qualities. Countless qualities Sri Gurudev has. But for us, which is the most important, He is very kind. He is very loving. He is very compassionate. And He is always in serving mood. There is countless qualities in Sri Gurudev, but which is most important for us is this boy. He is very good follower, first. He is very loving, his heart always full of love, prema. He is always mood of service. And he is the ocean of mercy same like bhagavan how bhagavan is not searching the qualities to be merciful to such person to some person same sri gurudev also not sri krishna only he can do that only he can send us that costless mercy and the second person who can do that he is Sri Gurudev. So when we'll take shelter, before we'll take shelter to the lotus feet of Sri Gurudev, what, what you'll do? First we'll accept. He will accept our situation, our quality. Because our heart is full of contamination. Is not? Is our heart is pure? No. When we'll go to Guru, so that time our heart will be full of contamination. So first, Guru will accept everything. Okay, no problem. Just come to me. Same move of Nidai Chad. 
What need I just say to us? Jatishtangre prata puru hari hari pani mansham Tato vah sangsaram budhi tarana daya mai lage Idang bahu spotai ratati ratan yah pratibriham Bhaji nityanandam bhajanapur kandam nilavadhi It's enough. Just chant Mahamantra. Just continue. You know, Bhagavad Gita is not Mahamantra. I'll deliver you everything. I'll take you from here to your Siddha Loka. I'll help you to cross this Samsara Ocean. But only you have to do just chanting Mahamantra. So he accepted everything. Okay. How you are, where you are, in which situation, just come to me. Gurudev also saying, first, she will accept all our qualities. It doesn't matter it is good or bad. Our situation and our position. So everything will accept. Okay, come to me. And Gurudev will start to clean. Gurudev will start to clean. Because he is following the path of Raman Mahaprabhu. Before it was not like that. Before the connection of Sri Gurudev and disciple was so gap. Long distance. That time Sri Gurudev will only advise. You have to do 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 this, 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 this. But after Sriman Mahaprabhu appeared, the relation completely changed. Then it becomes very intimate. Guru will hold the hand of disciple and he will take us from here, where we are right now, from here to Nikunja Kutir. Until that time, she will hold our hand. So that's why some Rashika Bhakta very nicely said, that is good that not to just hold the lotus feet of Sri Gurudev, just push your hand inside the hand of your Gurudev. If you hold his lotus feet, maybe by your ignorance, maybe after some time, you can just free. Maybe you'll forget that you have to always keep in your heart. Maybe you'll go away. But if Gurudev will hold your hand, she will never free yourself until she will take you to Nikunja Kuti. Gurudev is so merciful, ocean of mercy. So that's why in the first sloka of Gurudev Ashta, Vishwanath Chakravarti says that samsara dava nalalir halupa who stops this samsara that goes fire, that dava All is we are burning but she will stop that fire. She will deliver us that peace and she will put that ointment because after burning we need some ointment to cure to get cured from that burning. So Gurudev will put his special blessing, mercy. Sneha. Sneha means, you know, 
Sneha, this word is very useful here. And he used, Gurudev will use his Sneha for his disciple. And that Sneha, it's like ointment. It's very thick. Sneha means in Bengali, it's something like oily, creamy. So Gurudev will use that Sneha to give us that ointment after that burning. And by that Sneha, by that love, of Sri Gurudev will get that peace and pleasure in our life. When our mind will start to dance, okay, now I am free. When we will start to enjoy, then Gurudev will start to advise about our bhajan. First, he will stop all the fire. He will give ointment to cure our that burning feelings. Then, he will deliver us that pleasure. Okay, now sing, dance. Enjoy. Because always we want to do some entertainment. Enjoy. We want to entertain our heart. So, Gurudev will engage us with that entertainment. But that entertainment is very eternal. It's for permanent pleasure. Sangshara dava nalali saloka Tranaya karunya ghana ghanatyam she will put the ointment and she will make us cure, very cure from this burning. Pratyasya kalyana. Then she will deliver all the auspiciousness to our life, in our life. Then all the darkness will remove. Then all the um, obstacle will remove. Then all the pain will remove from our heart, then all the auspicious things, which is beneficial for us, she will deliver everything to our life. Because Gunar Navarsha, because he is the ocean of mercy, he is the ocean of qualities, all good qualities. Auspicious good quality. So that is why you have to take shelter fast to get free from all those problems, to remove all the darkness of ignorance from our life, to get that real peace. Peace is actually really. We are misunderstanding that peace and happiness. Peace and happiness are, are not the same. Happiness is coming from some, some pleasure. But we want peace that come in our heart, permanent, which is very stable which make our heart very stable. So that is peace. And Gurudev will bring us that, deliver us that peace in our life. That's why we have to take shelter. In Prem Bhakti Chandrika, at the beginning of Prem Bhakti Chandrika, Narutam Das Thakur, he also said, if you want to start your life, so you have to start in that way. Sri Guru Charano Padmo Kevalo Bhakati Shadmo Bando Mui Shabodhano Mati Jaharo Prashade Bhai E Bhavo Turiya Jai 
कृष्ण भक्ति है जहा हईते If you want to start your life as a human being, because when we are starting actually our life, when we will start our human life, only to look like human, we cannot say that we are human. Because the difference between animal and human are very, very little. Aharo nidra bhaya maitu nancha Samannami tat naranam pasunam Dharmo hi sthe saang odhikam vishesha Dharme na hi na pasubhi samana All the activities Like taking food, sleeping, taking rest Be scared and producing children so it's very natural and the similar human and animals then why human are the great only they are eating cooked food for that no. Only they are dressing well. No. Only they can go to the school or earn money. No, not for that. Because now the animals also they are earning money, so much money. Is that? You just go to the military. You just go to the military or police, they have dog squad, you know, and all the dog they have salary and some dog they are most highest paid than other police officer and that police officer has to salute to that dog because he is senior and military also they have. So, the dogs they are earning money, the horse they are earning money. So now animals go to the circus. You can see the animals they are dressing, and you can see in every house who has pet. They are offering their pet, the cook food, processed food. So now. That gap is more near. Only there is only fire crack. Air crack. So what is the speciality? What is the greatness of human? Dharmo histe shang odhikang vishesha. A very special nature as a human being which is known as dharma that is very special we can make boundary by scripture by rules and regulation but animals they have no boundary they have no rules and regulation and our boundary is very strong because we are making our boundary by spirituality. Spirituality is connected there. That's why we are following. That's why we are following that rules and regulation. No, I should not do that. That's why we can judge it's good or it's bad. That's why we want to do good work. So it's the different. Human, they can follow the religion, spirituality, dharma, but animals not. 
So how we can start our life as a human? If we have no dharma, that means we are also animal. More what than animal? Dharma no hi na pasu bhi samana. If you have no dharma, if you have no rules and regulation, if you have no that frame for your life, that means you are also animal. Although you are look like a human being. So how we can start? That Narutam Das Thakur said, Sri Guru Sarana Padma, by the taking shelter to the lotus feet of Sri Guru Dev, one human life will start. When they will connect themselves with the spirituality, that time actually they are starting their life. That is our misunderstanding that we are engaging ourselves in the spirituality when we'll, when we'll be old. Most of the person who is retired, they are starting their spiritual life. No. After retirement, you cannot do anything. Good. Because already you were exhausted by your life. If you are exhausted by your life, so you cannot do something better for your life. So what is the best time? Which is the best time for our life to start? That's when we'll step on teenage. That's the best time. 13, 14, 12, 13, 14. This age is the best time to start that life by taking shelter of Sri Guru Dev. Because from there, from the lotus pit of Sri Guru Dev, from Sri Guru Dev, we'll get the lesson first lesson of pure love which is most important for all life if we have no love in our life that means we are very dry that means we are very dry and which heart is really dry he is carrying all the senses uh, is not carrying the life. What Mahaprabhu said, Krishna Rupadi Nishe Banang Bina Bhyarthani Me Klandriyan Pasha No Shushkin Dhanubhar Kanyaho Vibhur Mitana Katham Hatatrapa Mahaprabhu says that I never attracted by the beauty of Krishna. I never chant Krishna Nam. I never heard Krishna Nam. My eyes are not really greedy to take darshan of Krishna. My feet are not going to Krishna temple. My arms are not working for Krishna. No service more in the heart. So, that means my life is just useless, worthless. What I should do? All my senses is like stones. Now I am feeling all the stones. It's very heavy to carry them. Same feeling will come to our heart if we have no love. In our heart, in our life. We need love in our heart and at the same time in our life also. Both it's important. And from Sri Gurudev we will get first lesson of love. And then she will give us more pure knowledge about love and will increase our mood in that way.
बिकॉज ओनली फ्रॉम हिम वी कैन गेट दैट प्योर लव विच इज अनकंडीशनल केवल आप श्री गुरु चरण पद्म केवल भगत सत्म बिकॉज श्री गुरुदेव इज द हाउस ऑफ प्योर लाभ केवल प्योर भक्ति प्योर लाभ बट आफ्टर दैट नरथन दास ठाकुर बंदमयी सवधान मत वो हैव टू वर्शिप वो हैव टू प्रे टू श्री गुरुदेव केयरफुली Uh, you must be very careful when you will pray to Sri Guru Dev. When you will worship Guru Dev, you must be very careful. Why he said? Why we should be careful about Sri Guru Dev? Why we should be careful when we will pray or worship Sri Guru Dev? Is there any cause? So Narottam Das Thakur will explain. We'll listen tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Kija.